Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. This is a follow-up from my recent Xenia Fix video. It works fine for ESDE, but there's a problem when you're using Steam ROM Manager. So you'll find that after you've played the game once, for some reason it works the first time, and then after that it goes back to the assertion failure. Here's exactly what you need to do. So in the previous video, we showed you to go to your emulation folder, tools, launchers, find the Xenia.sh, open with Kate, Scroll down and you'll find dash experimental. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And we're going to type in 9.0 space open paren capital beta. All right. And that's what we did in the last video. If you want to understand why and all that, go watch the other video. So now I'm going to save it. Control S. Now, before you do anything, right click the file, go to properties, go to permissions change owner to can view only. This will keep that file from getting overwritten again. It doesn't seem to happen with ESDE, but it does happen with Steam ROM managers uh, injection. So change it to that, hit okay. This file will no longer continue to roll back to uh, experimental. Hopefully they'll fix this in the next update of Emudeck. In the meantime, this will get you started and you'll be able to run the game over and over again inside of uh, Steam. You'll see everything behaves. We'll do it one more time just for fun. All right, so you get the Xenia disclaimer, just like I showed in the last video. All right, so you can see it's gonna run, right? All right, so we close it. Now, I'll close this again. We'll open up Steam again. Go back to the library and we'll run it a second time. This is where it would normally fail for uh, Steam ROM manager injections, but as you can see, it retains the changes that you made now and the games continue to play. So I didn't notice this on the last video because I don't use Steam ROM manager. I only use ESDE and this problem was only for Steam ROM manager users. Now you know how to get around it. In the future, you may have to unlock that file by going to properties, permissions, and changing the owner to can view and modify, for example, if they ever need to update this in the future. But uh, this will get you back up and running for now. Shane R. Monroe, thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. Thanks so much for watching and take care.